This is Chad, um, um, Foundation Digital Media, and this is assignment one where I will be reviewing Illustrator, um, kind of an intro to Illustrator, and um, to review assignment one. So let me get started. When you open up Illustrator, this is what this is kind of the open window. What I'd like you to do is just click on Create New, and um, you get this pop up here where you can pick different applications. So if you want to do something for a mobile or for the web or for print or art and illustration. Right now I just want, if you would, please just choose a letter. Now over on the right hand side of this um, new document window, and that's what this is, when you click new, new document window comes up. You can, um, so these presets create these um, uh, they set these presets in certain ways, and we clicked a letter size, which is eight and a half by eleven inches. Now, um, it if you don't do that, it's going to come over in like pixels or in picas or something like that. If you're, I mean, I'm pretty familiar with inches. Click on a measurement you're familiar with, and then size your paper accordingly, or and follow the instructions on the project sheet. We're going to look at that in a minute, and I'll explain what that is. Um, but here you can size your page. Um, and you can do some other more advanced things that I'm not going to go into right now. But right underneath my mouse right here, there's a blue Create button. I can't, oh, there it is. You can't, I can't get it into the screen, but if you click Create, then an 8.5 by 11 page will pop up in Illustrator. So let me. here's a quick overview of Illustrator. Um, uh, well, a tour. I'm gonna get. I'll, I think um, another video will do an overview, like what is Illustrator. But let me give you a tour. So this up at the top here, this is called the menu, and um, this looks kind of familiar, like Word or Excel or anything, where you have File and Edit and Help. These middle ones are a little different, but File you you would expect to see, like create a new document or open something or save it, or close it, um, um, or print it. So there's a few other things in there, but that'll get you around for opening and saving and closing um, if you ever have to print. So that's what ed a file is. Edit is very much the same thing as like um, Word or something like that where you have a cut and copy or a paste. Now these are new, but you can paste in front of something, paste in the behind something, paste in place and we as you go through the semester we'll find out more of what these these mean but that's really what you need to know right now um, and then there's more to explore in here but I'm gonna stop there down this side of the window this is the toolbar right here and uh, the longer you expand the bigger you expand your page you can make this into one column but um, generally this is a the tools that you use <laughs> These two top tools are very, very useful. You use them a lot. It's called the Selection Tool and the Direct Selection Tool. So here's the difference. The Selection Tool will select an entire object. The Direct Selection Tool will select part of an of a object or a point. Okay, We'll talk about that in a minute, but that's, and I'll, or I'll demonstrate that in a minute, but that's the difference, the whole object or part of an object. Here's the Pen Tool. That's what we'll use for Assignment 1. And I'll show you how to use that. Um, <clears throat> if you want to add type, here's the type tool. Or a line or a, a shape. So notice, um, like on, on this rectangle, there's a little black rectangle or triangle next to it. And if I click, click and hold on the rectangle, um, I get the rectangle tool, but I also can access another little submenu. So here's the rounded rectangle tool or the ellipse tool, which is a circle or kind of these ellipse shapes, polygon, any multi-sided um, object, like up from a triangle to I don't know how many sides is the max. Same with the star. Um, but that's how you would access those. Uh, let's see. I'd like you to click on the rectangle tool, and I want you to do this um, just as we go here. So let's click on it. You've just, if you, so let me slow down. Um, in the rectangle tool, what you would do is click and hold down your mouse, and then you would drag out the mouse, holding it down, 
and you can see it's ready to create a rectangle. And notice I can create it from the bottom right to top left or top left to bottom right. I can move this around and I can change the shape and proportions of this. Okay, so and that's really, really helpful. Um, once I release my mouse, I have a rectangle and notice that it's highlighted. We call it in Illustrator selected. Okay, this rectangle is selected. And um, that means we can make changes to this rectangle when it's selected. So, um, so if I'm still in the rectangle tool, nothing holding down on the keyboard, um, but my mouse, notice if I go by the edge, um, my cursor turns into this um, double arrow tool, and I can click it on a corner. Oops, let me do that again. Sorry about that. And drag it, and I can resize that rectangle once it's selected. Or I can go on an, an edge, not a corner, an edge, and just resize from the edge. So that's a very useful feature. Um, so from the corner, or from, oops, didn't I miss that? Or from an, an edge. Okay. Great. Um, now, let me, sh let me show you something here. We're going to go to the selection tool, which is here. And um, this selection tool will let us select things and deselect. So to deselect something, I'm going to click away from it. Just deselected it. Click again. I've selected it. Okay. And then while it's selected, or, or even before, but when it's selected, I could click and drag this object around clicking and moving it around. Um, even when it's not selected, I can click and drag it around. So I'm hoping as you're watching this video, you're doing it on your own computer. Okay. So we've learned to select and deselect, to create a rectangle and to resize it. Um, and I'm in the selection tool now. I can click on that. Notice I have the same um, anchors available that I can resize my rectangle um, from a corner or from, from an edge. Okay. So good. Uh, let's see. The next thing I want to show you is while this is selected, let me go near a corner but not on a corner. Look what happens to my tool. I get this little bent arrow tool and that allows me to rotate the rectangle. Okay, And this can be really useful. Okay, um, If I rotate and release, I've just rotated my rectangle and that can happen with any shape or or any line or anything like that, right? Now, if I don't like what I just did, I can go Edit, con Control Z, or Command Z, depending on what computer you're using, and that moves you back one. You undo what you just did, and I can cont I can click on my keyboard instead of going to Edit, Undo. So if I do Control Z, I can go keep going back in time. Um, so that's really helpful. So you can correct mistakes, right? So you can take some risks in here, but and you can always go backwards. So that's kind of cool. Let me show you something else. So with that move tool, I'm moving this thing, but if you add a option or an alt key as you're moving it, look what happens to the cursor. You get a double cursor. And so now I have just duplicated the shape. So that's a click and drag, holding down alt or option either a PC or Mac, and then releasing, and I'm, I'm duplicating the shape. Now, this is really interesting. Let me put this, I just duplicated this one. Look what's happening here. There's one at the bottom, the new one is on top of it, and the newest one is on top of that. So Illustrator works in layers. That's another, th that's one thing we're finding out here. Every time you draw a new object, it, um, it is on top of your previously selected object. Just important to know, to remember. Um, if I want to delete something, you could probably guess. You select it and then hit delete or backspace on your keyboard. Okay. Um, let's talk about some more key commands. Um, if you hold down the space bar, there's the hand tool. What the hand tool does, it acts like um, it's your, this is a piece of paper on your desktop and you can move it around by clicking and dragging your mouse much more convenient than scrolling, in my opinion. 
Now, if I holding down command and I, or sorry, spacebar, and I add the command key on the Mac or the control key on the PC, I get my zoom tool, and I can click and drag to zoom in, and then you know use my spacebar to to recenter this if I'm focusing on an area. Um, so it's the zoom tool, spacebar, adding command or control. Now, holding down those two keys, if I add in an alt or an option. I'm at the zoom out. So um, I can zoom out and release the alt or op option and ho just holding down the space bar and command or control and I'm zooming in. Okay, recenter with the space bar. All right, so we're zooming in, we're moving around, we've duplicated, we've deleted, we've um, rotated, we've resized, we've done a lot of things here. Um, so let me talk just a little bit about um, colors and and about um, these shapes in Illustrator. So Illustrator makes um, these shapes uh, that are comprised of one, two, three, four, at least on this rectangle, four anchor points. Okay, and um, let me just show you what how that works with the pen tool. So I've Got the pen tool. I'm going to click and hold. If I hold down shift, I'm going to keep that line absolutely straight. So um, all I'm doing on here is just clicking my mouse and holding down shift. And um, now I have a rectangle that I've created with the pen tool in Illustrator. Um, and you can see these see these points. Those are my only four clicks I use to create the whole thing. Um, let's see what else can I tell you? I'm Control Zing to go back. Um, oh, this is kind of helpful. So the selection tool will select the whole object, but like I mentioned, the direct selection tool selects part of an object. So if I just want to select this side. I'm going to use the direct selection tool and click on that side and drag it around. And look what happens. I'm just, this, the left hand side stays put, but the right hand side I'm able to edit and move around. Same thing with a point. If I just drag one, I'm sorry, an anchor point. If I grab an anchor point, just move that around, I'm able just to adjust that. Okay, I think that's enough to, to make some. Um, oh, oh, you know what I should talk about is color still, right? So here's my shape. Um, right in this area, you can see that um, this object, um, this these two colors describe the object. The left-hand um, box um, describes the fill of the object. So right now, what's the fill color of this? It's it's white, right? And the right hand drop down here uh, is the stroke of the object or the outline of it. And this one is black. We can change that. Oh, and then here's the stroke. And this tells, tells us how thick the stroke is on the object. Right now it's 1.5 points. But we can change that with the arrow keys or with this um, drop down, or we can key it in, highlight it, push five. Um, so that's how we'll change the stroke thickness. Um, to change the color, I'd use the drop down for the stroke, which looks like a rectangle without any middle. I'll click, and then we have our color palette that pops up. And I'll choose just some color, just so you can see that it will change. And um, while, remember, the object is selected, right? It won't, it won't make a change if it's not selected. Um, and uh, we're going to change the fill by clicking the drop down of the left, uh, on the left drop down here. And we'll pick some color that may go with it. So there we are. We've changed the stroke color, the fill color and the stroke width. Okay, so if we make a new rectangle, um, is it going to be that black and white again? No, it's going to be the same colors of the object 
that was last selected. Isn't that interesting? So it's just good to keep in mind that Illustrator will do that. It'll take all those same attributes. So if I change this up a little bit and um, make a new object, and it could be you know, polygon, keep the same attributes. Okay? All right, very good.